Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Oh, oh my god, you guys. Did it just blow we, up his office? Babe! Sorry, sorry. We have a current obsession in this household. It is... The Ozark. The Ozark, you guys. Ozark. It's Ozark. I took um, the last few days off to watch the Ozark and just to, like do me time, relax, get some days off. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I finished season one and two. Um, and we're starting season three today. They're all on Netflix if you're wondering. Mm. Today we're having the bulky. I'm saying that wrong probably. With mozzarella cheese on top. Ooh, this one has ramen, you guys. Is that just ramen and cheese? Yeah, do you want this one? Yeah, you have this one. It's just ramen and cheese? Yeah. What does the other one have that I don't like? This one has fish cake. Oh, okay, okay. That one doesn't have fish cake? No. It just has ramen. Oh. Can, mm. I, can I have one? Here. I don't want all of it. I just want a little bit. We can always save it for later. Well, yeah, there's fish cake. Look. Oh, but avoid it maybe? You don't have to do this right now. We also have some Korean corn dogs here. Very excited. Very, very excited. Ooh, look at all this cheese, you guys. Ooh. <laughs> you guys haven't watched the Ozark? Please do. It is the best show ever. Comment down below if you guys have watched it. What season you're on, what you think of it, your I, predictions. I told her. I was like, it's really good, but she didn't. I don't know why you didn't give it a chance. That was too blue tone. But that's what I love about the show, that even when something like good happens, you still feel like, oh, nope, it's like not gonna last. I love it. I we love have some um, rice cake. Wait, this one's just mozzarella. Maybe, I don't know which was which. Mm. I got you cheddar and volcano. Here, give that one to me. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so the red ones are mozzarella. So this one's mozzarella. Okay. That's yellow. Yellow's cheddar. Uh, I assume. I'm sorry. It's okay. I should have told you anyway. Mm, get the thing and dip it in the thing and it's mm. all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is our dinner. There's some fish cake. This is the finale of season two, so sorry that Carlos is watching the last three minutes. Was the ramen good? It's a little sweet. Yes, um, the the bulky is usually sweet. Ah! I'm not a fan of it. No. Oh uh, man! Season two has ended. Yep. It is really good. 
Okay, pause before we start season one. We get to hang out with our friends for a little. Mm mm. Uh uh. Don't try it. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, it's just Ozark. It's not the Ozark. Oh wow, this whole time I've been calling it the Ozark. The best corn dogs ever have been. Mm-hmm. Mm. Any predictions for season three? Um, I don't know. See, I can't really talk about it because what if people haven't seen it? Mm. I guess what I will say is that if you have seen the show, and even if you haven't, it's not really a spoiler, but I can tell you that um, the character Charlotte is very annoying. Charlotte, <laughs> the character Charlotte is so annoying. I cannot with her. Who's your favorite character in the show? Um, you know what? I, um, I like. I know you find her voice very high pitched and annoying. Ruth. But I actually really like Ruth. I think. I think, I think Ruth has. Uh, like, well, I mean, I can't say anything, but like, I think people would agree that like, I, I like Ruth. I think Ruth's character is like a badass. Yeah. Like, she does not give a fudge, you mm -hmm. know? But sometimes when she goes hardcore into a scene and doesn't shut up, mm -hmm. I cannot. Like, I'm like, just shut up and let Marty talk and you will understand why. Yeah. Um, I don't have a favorite character, I don't think. But yeah, aside from that though, I mean, I like her, but I wouldn't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have a favorite character. You know, like in Breaking Bad, my favorite character was Mike. Like, I love You loved Mike. Mike. Like, oh man, like Mike was such a, like, he was such a badass. Mm -hmm. I love Mike. Oh. Speaking of, good girls. Mmm. It's on to them. Mm hmm My favorite character in Good Girls is um the drug dealer. I don't even know what his name is. I don't know his name. He's really hot. Yeah, I have no idea who his name is. What is what is his name in the show? What is his name? Do you know he's from Long Beach? Rico? Rico! No. <laughs> Rico's such a typical like <laughs> drug dealer name no, in movies. No, I don't think it's Rico. <laughs> I think isn't that from On My Block? Maybe we're thinking of something else. I don't know. But Rico's such a typical, like, drug dealer name in movies. Mmm. I think it is Rico. Mmm. Hmm. What happened? Yeah, that's it though. I don't really like them, but I. Mm. What? Um. I thought Wendy was annoying from time to time, but I actually really like her. I th I thought like she's turned into so like. She's turned into like hardcore. She's. I think she's gonna take over. Like. Well, we don't like I said. Uh, we don't want to spoil anything, but I'm just saying like if you watched it. I don't know, like I just thought she was gonna be like, oh my gosh, like Skylar from, oh! <laughs> you guys, if you have seen Breaking Bad. Skylar is annoying. Skylar from Breaking, oh my gosh, like you have. Um, but, oh man. Oh, Rocky. Rocky. Oh. Rocky has um. reverse sneezing. Reverse sneezing sometimes. Rocky, come here. Rocky, mm -hmm. go to daddy. Come here, Baba. Go to daddy. Rocky, come here. Yeah, we asked our vet what to do and okay. didn't no, really give us no, it's any. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. You good? You got him? Okay. There you go. I haven't heard that in a while. 
He hasn't done it in a while. When we first got him, he would do um, it like every oh day. my god. When we first took him home from the the shelter, he did it every single day, like 10 times a day. And then he stopped for a very long time. And we thought it had to do with his heart murmur, but the vet said, oh, it's like completely normal. Yeah, so he does it every once in a while from time to time, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, okay. Yeah, but Skylar in Breaking Bad actually had a moment where she were, she she was on board, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. then she realized the risk. Is that a spoiler? I mean, the show's been out for like 20 years, you guys. Like, yeah. please watch it. Mm. You know who else is annoying? Lydia. Aunt Lydia? No, Lydia. Aunt Lydia? Where'd you get Aunt Lydia Wait, from? where's Aunt Lydia from? Aunt Lydia's from, um, Handmaid's Tale. No, Lydia, the one that sold them <laughs> the barrels and stuff. Oh, the Lydia? One, the one that had the thing. The one that had two different shoes when she got caught. The one, yeah. I, I remember, Aunt, yeah, Lydia. That's because she was, that's because she was paranoid as hell, and I don't know why she decided to work with them, if she was that paranoid. No, she was just really annoying. Yeah, Lydia was annoying. Mm hmm What? Mm, aside from that, I'm thinking of annoying characters in shows that I've seen. Like, I'm talking about, like, annoying... Like, out of shows that you've seen, like, are there any characters that you can honestly be like, oh my gosh, that character, like, that character is so annoying. I'm sure there are, I just can't think of any of them. Oh, on my block, you hate that girl with curly hair. The one where her dad's always off on a business trip and she's home alone. Oh, yeah, what's her name? No, I don't, God, we suck at names. Oh, yeah, she can be, no, I do, I honestly genuinely think she's annoying. She can be annoying. Um, if you guys have seen Game of Thrones, which I hope you have because it's been out for a while already. It's good. You. I tried it for just, two minutes. She's just not into the whole like um, night and like. Shining armor. No, she's not <laughs> into the whole like medieval like type of stuff, like night and like that kind but of. But like, who era. was my who was my queen? Oh. uh... Khaleesi? I loved her. Um, she could do no wrong in my book. <laughs> um, what's it called? Joffrey. The blonde dude? The guy that you um. said. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. I got Such what. a spoiled brat. I got was like on another level. Yo. And and the queen, her, uh, his mom. Oh my god, Oh yes. my god, his mom. Oh, um, okay, so it's gonna be a spoiler if you haven't seen spoiler. it. Spoiler. Which I hope you have, but... Like, I have never, I've seen, I saw reactions to when it got into, remember how he gets poisoned? Yeah. I have never seen. So many people hate him? <laughs> yeah. Like, the actor did, I forgot what his name is, but he did such a good job of portraying, like, this, like, asshole. Yeah. Because the guy was, like, his character was, like, a straight-up asshole. Yeah. And he did such a good job that literally, I saw reaction videos of that episode and everybody was, like, happy. You know, that's what mom died. says. She says when you hate an actor or an actress, they're doing a really good job yeah, acting. Yeah, he did a really good job. He did. Literally, like, the dude was an asshole. Honestly, the show is so freaking long that you will probably forget this information that we told you. Because there's so much that goes on in every single episode. There, what, what, did you not like the finale, though? I didn't like the last season. I was that when they... Yeah, that's when they shorten the season. We oh, after you guys are done watching Game of Thrones, you should go on YouTube and watch behind the scenes on how they filmed it because oh. that was so cool. I like that. Oh yeah, should we? Well, I'm sad right now because she likes the whole behind the scenes thing. I do. It's I've always been somebody who loves behind the scenes. Like I love when YouTubers show like their behind the scenes mm. setup. I love learning how my t favorite like TV shows and movies were filmed. Like the Ozark wasn't filmed in um, Missouri. In Missouri, it was actually filmed in Georgia. In Warner Bros. <laughs> no, they built a set in Georgia because um, they weren't allowed. They were allowed to film. Uh, you know the Ozark Lakes are real, right? Yeah. Okay, so they if they filmed there, they would have been like taxed really hard or something. Mm -hmm. And so they decided not to film there and to film in Georgia and set. So they built a set in Georgia to mimic the Ozark. Oh, yeah. that's dope. Really cool. But um, was that, where was I going with this? 
You like the whole behind the scenes thing. Oh yeah, I like the whole behind the scenes things. It's my favorite. But I was gonna say something else. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I do. That's that's pretty cool. I think. Um, Hi baby. Like when I first started watching the show, I was like, oh, is this gonna? I mean, I, usually, I think at that point, like Netflix had put out shows that were already pretty decent, like two years ago, mm -hmm. right? Netflix already had pretty decent, like Netflix originals. You know what I'm? Oh, oh, what I was saying was, I'm sad that season three is um, that we're on season three. Oh, cause because then we're now gonna have to wait another year. Yeah, yeah. like it's really hard <clears throat> for me to like commit to TV shows because it's like dating. You know, you got to get to know the. The person and then like commit to them. I just think uh, uh, the only thing I like is that they have all the episodes because I'm very impatient when it comes to like waiting for waiting each, each week. That's how I feel right now with Good Girls. Like with the Star Wars show that I was watching on Disney Plus. Oh, the Mandar. The Mandalorian. Yeah. It, it, there was a new show every week, and I was like, Ugh. yeah. And then I was literally about to wait until like they were all out, but I I, I was impatient. I couldn't do oh, it. Oh, that's how I feel right now with Good Girls because it comes on every Sunday, you guys, and I literally sometimes I even forget. Look at his big eyes. He's like, I want food. You're gonna eat in like an hour. You guys. Even if he was fed like 30 minutes ago, he would still be here trying oh, yeah. to food. You guys know, we love our dogs. We feed them uh, for dinner at around like between five and six every day. And even like after they eat, they're starving for some reason, huh? And they get enough. And they get snacks. They get the, the right proportion. They get snacks throughout As the day. As you can tell, old man's a little thick. Cooper's getting a little thick too. He said, don't call him thick. You don't like being called thick, Bubba? You said no. Hey, have you noticed Cooper's gotten really light? Yeah, extremely light. What is going on? It's not summer. I understand if it happened during the summer. I have no Are idea. Are you sneaking out at night and going tanning? In like a tanning bed? He loves the sun though. Like he'll, he'll, uh, we'll open the door for him and he'll just like lay in the sun. He loves it. And he's like, all right, whatever. It's like, mom, you're not gonna give me food, bye. Kiss me, my my prince. All uh, all four of them need a groom, but unfortunately, we can't do anything right now. I hope everything gets better. I heard there's um. I was reading the news this morning. Mm -hmm. My new thing every morning. Um, that New York has gotten a little bit better. Oh, that's good. But not right now. I, Are they still in lockdown? They were never in lockdown, baby. I thought New York was. No, because they of, they because it was bad in New, it was bad in New York. No, because um, Hudgen. Uh -huh. um, Michelle's cousin uh -huh. lives in New York and she said that they were they wanted to do a lockdown but the people of New York literally like got pissed off so then the so that's a, that's my thing it's like okay I get but it but now they're all working together and they're all staying home oh, okay. so basically like don't put us in a lockdown we'll do it ourselves kind of thing right but, I but, but at the same time though it's like you like what people need to understand it's like they don't want us to go on lockdown but they like, have to. But you like, know? if it's necessary, then it just has to happen. I truly believe if it's necessary, just put us in a lockdown for one but or like, two weeks. Like, I understand that it's very inconvenient, obviously, for everybody, and like being stuck at True. home for like being stuck at home for however long. Yeah, but not only that, people can't work. No, I know, I understand that. Yeah. Like, I understand all that, and I know like being stuck like in a single place like for such a long time without going out or anything like that can like. But I just. It like it, it's very like you know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I guess you could say claustrophobic there's, in a way. Because there's a it's lot like you're of just closed into your house, but there's a lot of good and bad. Like, yeah, if you're in a lockdown for that much, that amount of time, it does flatten the curve. So that's amazing. You know, people aren't leaving the house. They're not giving it to each other. Like, the hospitals aren't overpacked for responders or like nurses and doctors and stuff to overwork. Yeah, so just, that's great. I just like um, I I forgot what city. But, but we also don't live in a country that freaking loves us enough. Like Canada to give us two thousand dollars, like every month for rent or whatever, you know. Like if if we're in a lockdown and you still make us pay rent, like people don't have jobs, like mm. they have to pay their mortgages, their rents, whatever it may be. Like people have kids. Well, New York, New York, um, they the people that have mortgages, they don't they. Um, Did they freeze it? They pushed it back like ninety days or something. Oh, okay. It, it wouldn't affect their credit or anything like that. Yeah, and that's I what just, that's what I saw. But it's really hard for me to read the news because. Um, just being in entertainment, I know that sometimes the media can twist things around. 
So that's why I all, I stick to like certain ones like CNN, oh, the New York Times. What? I don't know about no. I, I don't do Fox. I just don't do Fox. No, but the, no, yeah. Talking about that, did you see that? Um, see, I think it was CBS. Yeah. They were using footage from Italy when they were talking about like the whole thing, saying that it was here. Oh. So like they mm. like 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 they were reporting like about the news here and stuff like that, but just, they were but they were using like video from Italy, like making right. it making it like that was going on here. Just be careful where you read your sources. Like we obviously all learned this in school. Like when we did research school papers. Stuff, stuff. When we did research papers, the most important thing was make sure your source is legit. Don't go to Wikipedia. Uh, Wikipedia. Like, read your, like, make sure you're getting information the, from the right sources. Like, the other day, um, oh, like, the other day, Jihai sent me a video, and the title of the video was, oh my god, people in China are shooting p patients with coronavirus in the streets. Right. And the video was actually... A bunch of clips from different incidents from like back in 2008 there was like a car accident and there was like a shooting or something they mixed it together to make it seem like China right now is shooting people in their own streets yeah I don't know why people do that it's like it's insane um, I don't know yeah I don't know where it was but they started writing and started saying like you know F Corona and this is and that and it's like dude like I get it I understand you know, people like, you know, you need to be limited to just staying at home as much as possible. But at the same time, it's like, I mean, like, why go out and riot? Like, what is the benefit? On to more positive notes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, how's life, babe? <laughs> Pretty boring. Hey. I mean, it just. Be optimistic. No, I am optimistic, but it is. Like, you can ask anybody. Everyone's going to tell you that it's been boring. I mean. <laughs> if, a whole piece of ice just went in my face. I totally understand it's boring, but I'm trying to look at it in like a positive way. No, I, I don't even want to say, no, boring's not the right word. I'm sorry to use that word. But no, I'm saying like, it's just like not even being able to go out to like eat and stuff. Like even just that, like those little small things are just like, you like really. I guess I think of it differently. Cause like at first I was like, oh my God, like. We can't go anywhere, but that was very selfish of me to think that way because I feel like we are so fortunate enough to have a home to even be in. Like there's so many other people who have situations, good or bad, that they can't be at home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like not only that, but like nurses and doctors and like even my brother like can't be home with their family because they're out there in the medical field or whatever helping us. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I think a lot of people are like, oh my God, like I'm so bored, yada, yada. But it's like, I've learned that like, if you just alter your thinking, like, you no, know, you're safe at home. You are so fortunate if you even have money to buy food to stock up for the next few weeks because some families don't. Oh, uh, talking about- Like that breaks my heart. Yeah. Talking about like buying food and stuff. There was, there, um, they started doing that thing where they're only letting a couple people in at a time. Yeah, I told you. Because I passed by John's the other day, remember? Yeah. And there was like... A line? Yeah, there was a huge line. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Um, but... Cooper's mad at you. Cooper, you get dinner in like an hour. Stop. He says whatever. But you know what I'm saying, though? Mm hmm Like, there are nurses and doctors who can't even see their own family because they have to be cautious of what they bring home. Like... I don't know. It's just we are you. You guys have to feel so grateful that you even just have a house to be in and a couch to sit on and a TV to watch. And like, if you can pay your rent, like that is even amazing. Some people don't. Some people live paycheck to paycheck. Right. They don't have money for rent or bills or whatever. Like, so shit. Hmm. We got good, you know. Like, was gotta that pray every day and be thankful. Was that stimulus check only for a one-time thing, or is it like every month? From what I read, it's a one-time thing. Wow. That's why everybody in the U.S. is like, "What the fudge?" Like other countries. Like I heard, I heard. I don't know for a fact. If you live in Canada, let us know. Um, educate us if you want. Um, but I heard in Canada they're giving out two thousand every month. And they're giving up to six thousand or something dollars to every family 
but yeah. I don't know the details of that. That's a lot of money. Yeah, but I don't know the details of that. But in the U.S., it's if you make over what a seventy or ninety, you don't even get a check. If you make over seventy-five thousand dollars a year, you don't get a check, and then it, um, and then it gives you. I, I forgot. What. It's five hundred dollars a kid under eighteen. And then it's also, and, and then, then it's, and I think it was fifteen hundred, like up to twelve hundred for singles. Up to fifteen hundred or something. Fing, it's fifteen hundred for married. I don't know, something like that. But yeah. But then we don't. But then you don't get this one check until two months later. Like no one's getting it right now. Really? No, they gotta go through paperwork, and there's a process. So you don't even instantly get the, these checks. So no. Uh, but then it's like, I also read this article on this lady and she was like, she didn't have health care and she got the virus and it was, it was like $36,000. I don't want any boo. Wow. $36,000? Yeah. I don't know. It just breaks my heart. That's why if you guys can, please donate. Like if you're fortunate enough to have some money left over or maybe just like a few dollars just please donate and help other people all right friends thank you so much for joining us today for dinner we love you guys so much we'll see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new video guess who's posting on their channel again me <laughs> yes you <laughs> i love you guys thank you so much for allowing me a few days off to focus on me have me time enjoy life i love you guys please leave a comment down below we love hearing your feedback on our conversations and your minds and your thoughts and whatever it may be. Your minds, what? That didn't sound right. Your thoughts. Your thoughts in your mind. <laughs> Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my other channel. Check out my other videos on my other channel where I post more about things that are not mukbangs. And give this video a big thumbs up. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, my loves. Bye.